CNN's Chrissy Lustau live in Hong Kong with details. So, you know, it was a very private sort of disappearance and now very public sacking. What happened? Very much so, John. This is just the latest high-profile reshuffle in China. And according to state media, Li Shangfu has been removed as defense minister, as state counselor, and as a member of the powerful Central Military Commission. Uh, Qing Gang, who was ousted, as he recalls, foreign minister back in July, was also removed as state counselor. No explanation was given. No replacement appointed for Li Shangfu, and that effectively leaves China without a defense minister. Now, before he was ousted, Li had been missing from public view since late August. He was reportedly under investigation for corruption. According to one Reuters report, it was for corrupt procurement of military equipment. But when the defense ministry was asked about it and the allegations a couple months ago in September, a spokesperson said that he was, quote, not aware of the situation. Now, this ousting comes after a surprise shakeup in the military when China revealed two new leaders of its PLA rocket force. It also comes after the unexplained removal of Qing Gang, who, as we recall, he was dramatically ousted as the foreign minister of China in July after he vanished from public view for a month. And analysts say that these events have all raised questions about Xi Jinping, about the governance of China's core leader as he continues to consolidate his power in an increasingly opaque China. Back to you, John. And just what will be the impact here uh, without the defense minister there, with him gone on U.S.-China relations? Because, you know, despite all the tensions between the United States <clears throat> and Washington and Beijing, they've often kept an open line at a defense level. You know, it's interesting because, ironically, this could have a positive impact on U.S.-China relations because the removal of Li Shangfu also removes a major roadblock for the resumption of high-level military talks between China and the U.S. Um, Li Shangfu was sanctioned by the U.S. back in 2018 over China's purchase of Russian weaponry, and China has repeatedly said there can be no high-level military meeting between U.S. and China until those sanctions are scrapped. And that was why, and I think we have the video for you, uh, back in June, um, you may remember in Singapore, you know, China declined a U.S. request for a meeting at the security forum there. But the two defense chiefs, they managed this surprise handshake that went viral, made headlines all around the world. But with Li Shangfu now out of the picture, people are wondering, could high-level military talks resume? And that will be up for discussion, John, when China's top diplomat, Wang Yi, visits Washington later this week, the 26th to the 28th. Back to you. The intrigue continues in Beijing. Mm. Chrissy Lee out with all of it live in Hong Kong. Thank you. Thank you.